Hello everyone. You've probably heard of Selenium WebDriver, right? The widely popular browser automation library. Did you know that it has the ability to allow users to simulate a file upload event? If not, keep watching and you will soon find out how to automate a file upload feature along with how to validate image files and non-image files using Selenium for Java applications. So first, we're going to start out this tutorial uh, with a sample application or example application. I've already picked out a application that I've built. Uh, so what you can do is navigate to this GitHub URL, which I'll include in the video description. Just navigate to it uh, uh, and then clone the uh, application by clicking on code and then download zip and then extract it to your uh, coding workspace. If you want to follow along with a different Java application, feel free to do so. You don't have to use this application. Uh, now, moving on to the uh, coding part. So what we have to do is we have to import this project uh, into your coding editor. So since this is a Java application, we're using uh, Eclipse and I have imported this project into my Eclipse workspace. Uh, the first thing we need to do once we get a hold of this application is to set the environment variables uh, Gecko driver path and Firefox path. Uh, these uh, variables are needed so that uh, the web driver functionality uh, can uh, function correctly. So uh, just go on run, run configurations and then find the correct JUnit configuration and then click on environment and here you'll see a, a list of variables so we're gonna go one by one and explain uh, what each variable does so starting with Firefox path uh, this is your local path to your Firefox executable file uh, it should end with a .exe so it's the firefox.exe next we have gecko driver path so your local uh, gecko path to your gecko driver executable file uh, this will be used to uh, control the browser uh, using a web driver next we have image file upload path so this is the uh, local path to any image file you have on your local system uh, this is the one i have picked out you can pick whatever is in your local system Next you have a uh, non-image upload uh, path which is the uh, non-image file we're uploading and this is the path that I picked out. Uh, here is the name of the file so for the next one so image file name so this is the name of the image file you referenced in uh, upload path so you can see uh, download lo uh, java logo java logo and then same thing with for the uh, non-image file name. It's basically the file name uh, in that upload path. Once you set these environment variables, just click apply and then close. Next, let's navigate to the Selenium upload file class and go through its methods. So starting with the before method, um, we can see that we are initializing Firefox here. So this uh, method establishes properties for Gecko driver. It needs the Gecko driver executable path and the Firefox executable file. Uh, and then we finally initialize the driver variable with Firefox driver class. Now we can cover upload file, upload image file method and this what we're doing here is uh, we're starting out by launching a new browser session to uh, to the URL specified so here's the URL that we're using uh, then we are uh, using upload element so basically uh, the file upload input element is identified by using its ID we are by get ID so let me navigate to this Um, 
page to give a better idea of what we're dealing with. So as you see here, uh, we have input ID and it has a, a file upload as its ID. That's what we're targeting by, uh, by using by ID uh, method. So we identify that element and assign it to the upload element variable. Next, we use the send keys method. Uh, and this is, method is used to type content automatically into editable fields while using Selenium. In this case, we're passing in a file path of an image contained within our local system. So the specified file can be uploaded as an image. So this is the uh, image file path that we defined uh, very recently. Next, what we do is uh, we click the file submit uh, button. So right here, if we click on inspect, we can see file submit ID. And we basically click on that button to simulate a form submission. Next, we implicitly wait two seconds to allow for the web page to load, for the following web page to load. Next, in the following web page, we're going to look for a Java logo. So uh, the uploaded uh, image should have a source field with the image file name contained within it. So what we're doing is we're using XPath to find an image with the source that is equal to this. This system's uh, variable, environment variable called image file name will be evaluated to whatever we set it to in our run configuration uh, that we went over previously. So it'll say uploads java logo.png and it's going to look for that image element with the according uh, with the matching source attribute. Once that's been identified, what we do is we validate the source attribute with the attribute or the value that we expect it to have. So this is the source attribute that we expect it to have, which is the website slash uploads slash image file name environment variable. So we're basically making sure that the image we find is what we're indeed looking for. And it is the one that we just uploaded. So now let's move on to the upload a non-image file test. So the purpose of this test is to evaluate whether uploading a non-image file will render the uh, uploaded non-image uh, view file with the non-image file path contained within it. So you'll see what I mean once I start running the uh, test. But uh, basically we're looking for a different outcome. We're not looking for the image upload page. We're looking for the non-image upload uh, page which should only show a file path of the uploaded file. Uh, the beginning of this test uses the same structure as the previous test. Uh, the only exception is in the send keys, we're sending in a different environment variable, non-image file upload path. Then we're clicking on file submit, wait two seconds. And now we're doing something different here. So we're using XPath and we're getting the text that an element contains and we're looking for the following text. So we're looking for uploads and then the non-image file name. Uh, so basically the non-image uh, file page is going to display a text field that gives a non-image file name. And this name is going to uh, allow us to see that text element and what we're doing by XPath is that we're identifying that element using its text. Once we are able to identify that non-image text, we assert that it is not null, so it should be found. So that's all we're doing here. So we are ready to run our tests. So in order to run our tests, right click on the page or the file and click on JUnit test if uh, upload file if it is not or alternately you can click on uh, this drop down right here and then selenium upload file proceed now let me bring over the selenium window and you can see uh, image file uploaded so this is the first test 
which uploads the image file and here's the second test so non image file uploaded and this test doesn't show an image because an image wasn't uploaded rather it shows the uh, file path of the non image file and based on these screens we can see that uh, both our tests passed successfully so that's it um, that's how you do uh, file uploading uh, with selenium uh, and um, form uploading or uh, form validations uh, with selenium so I hope this is useful um, if you have any questions or concerns uh, feel free to post a comment I'll, I'll uh, get back to you uh, if I find the time um, if you found this video helpful uh, consider liking or subscribing to my YouTube channel and uh, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one